All right, so here's what to look for. This is experimental number 31 from North Star. It's a newer color. This one right here is called Blue Medusa from Gannet Glass Color. This one right here, the third one to the right, is the Dyslexia by Sparkle Pants Ranch. And finally, this is the original borosilicate CFL color called Serum by Glass Alchemy. Now I'm going to want you to watch for the shift. I'm actually going to flip the light from incandescent lighting to compact fluorescent lighting. So that shift will actually make the glass change colors. Make sure to watch for it. Notice how deep of a pink that Experimental 31 and that serum gets and how purple the Gannet glass color gets as well as how yellow the dyslexia gets, an opposite shift from the serum and the Experimental 31. Watch again. A very deep shift on all these colors. They're great displays of what makes CFL glass so special. All right, guys, I'm going to get into the more technical stuff now. So I'm going to introduce this color, as you can see, serum by Glass Alchemy. This is actually one of the colors that started it all with the, in terms of what uh, CFL colors are out there. Um, this is a beautiful pink to yellow shifting CFL color. Um, it works beautifully. It's actually only released in small batches, so it's very hard to get. There's a two pound limit on that, so it's that raises the difficulty level to get. Um, as well as the fact that it sells out similar to um, Yeezy sneakers or some Nikes that are, you know, the sought after ones. So basically, this serum right here is in CFL lighting right now. That is why it's pink. That actually, and don't quote me 100% on this because I don't know their exact formula, but I do know that the transitional metal neodymium oxide is often used in these types of glasses because of its tight absorption spectrum. Now what that means is that each absorption spectrum or bright line spectrum, sometimes called BLS, is represented by lines in a box. So let's just say that this first box, let's just say these are one, two, and three. So number one is going to be the actual absorption spectrum of this glass. So right now you can see it's pink, that's because you're looking at it in CFL lighting. So let's just say it has a band here, here, and three up here. So this is how you're going to see absorption spectrums looking. This is not going to be the exact one for neodymium oxide based borosilicate glass, but I'm going to give you an approximation so you understand it. So basically in CFL lighting, which I'll represent by number two, it reflects off these two bands and not these three up here. That gives it that pink color. So when you shift the lighting over to incandescent, which has the lines up here, you will actually notice that these two lines will give you a pink and these three lines will give you a yellow. So watch as I switch over from the CFL to the incandescent lighting. That's shifting from these lines right here to these lines over here, represented by these boxes. Each one of these colors will display something very similar to this phenomenon. Um, just remember that bright line spectrum, absorption spectrum, and the transitional metal qualities of this glass is what causes it to shift.